Welcome back to Grey Squadron Gaming. We have another exciting episode in our Star Wars Legion Battle Report series. I brought a buddy over who we haven't seen in a while. Josh is back. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Josh. Woo woo. Josh is going to go over his list first, but before he does that, I want to start off. Don's not here tonight. He's over in Mexico somewhere having a good time, so, you know, yay for him. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to do a big shout out to the Commander Patreons. I will mess up names, forgive me. But big shout out to Dan Hubeck, Jamal Alahadi, Alex Bingham, Caleb Rogers, Anthony Minerva, Paul Durgensen, Jess David, Archon Dan, Michael Hume, Jason Tatro, Evan Christensen, Jacob Bleka? Bleka? We always mess it up. Now I mess it up. It's one of those two. I'm so sorry, Jacob. Please, please don't leave us. Ray and Peyton Archer, Thomas Trotman, James Wood, Sam Page, Andrea Muscat, Greg Williams, Eli Arthur, and Walden Kaywood, Cam Nikolai, Anthony Bonomo, Chris Kemp, Flobit, Anthony Hoskins, and Ethan McKinney. Big shout out to all you guys. We are playing some of your lists right now. As a perk for Commander Levels, we put your names into a bucket. We draw that bucket up when we do Patreon lists and play some lists. Um, we try to always play people who haven't had a list played yet before we play another person who's had a list played. But as a reminder, if you submit SharePoint lists, you probably will get those played as soon as you submit them because we don't get as many submissions for those ones. With that said, Josh is over there playing, um, he's doing Anthony Bonomo's list tonight. Josh, go over Anthony's list for everybody. You're looking at it. Sure. So I have uh, Leo Organo with Portable Scanner and Vigilance. I have Wicket with Tenacity, Situational Awareness, and Forced Dwellers. I have Ewok Skirmishers with Axe Ewok, Call to Arms, Ewok Trapper. I have a second unit of Ewok Skirmishers with the same upgrades. Uh, I have two Rebel Trooper units with uh, Rebel Trooper Captain DLT 20A and Situational Awareness. I have two sets of fleets as well with Scattergun and an extra trooper. I have Chewbacca and a set of Wookiee Warriors with the Battleship. Perfect. That brings my believe to $7.99, but it's on your screen so you see the point cost now. We're playing his. Who's he going to go against? He's going against Ethan McKinney's list. So he'll be playing Rebels. I've supplied the Ewoks for him. He does not have those. And then you need Rebel Troopers. The rest is all his stuff. We'll go take a look at my Republic list and see how this fares. And we have a new map to show you guys. If you caught my review video that I dropped about a week or so ago, you know what map I'm talking about. But if you haven't, stay tuned. And as you can see, my list is a Republic list from Ethan McKinney. Thank you very much, Ethan. I've got Commander Cody with Vigilance Portable Scanners, a Phase 2 unit with a Z6 and Offensive Push, a Phase 1 with a Z6 and Targeting Scopes, another Phase 1 with an RPS and another Targeting Scopes, Arc Trooper Full Unit with 5s and Targeting Scopes, lots of Targeting Scopes in this list, an Arc Trooper Strike Team with the DC-15 and HQ Uplink, not one, but two of the ATRTs, both of the Laser Cannons and the Link Targeting the Ray, and the Infantry Support Platform, which is one of my favorite little vehicles in the game. I don't get it out as much as I'd like, though. This one has the Twin Blaster Cannons, the Elite Armor Pilot, and the Link Targeting Ray. Actually, my favorite build for it as well, so well done, Ethan. I'm already liking this list. Brought me in, I believe, at 796 ish making me the blue player, and I will take blue. We'll go look at the cards, show the prize giveaways, show off this awesome new table that we're playing on tonight, get started, have some fun. Hope you guys enjoy some J-Squared versus Gray Squadron Gaming slash J-Squared action. Welcome to everyone's favorite game show, Flipper Pass, where I'm blue, he's red, and I get the first Flipper Pass. And, you know, um, he's got a lot of Ewoks, a lot of people, so we're just going to go ahead and flip right through because I don't want to deal with that right now. I don't know what any of these do. Uh, pass. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true Josh. No, I'm not going to pass. Let's do this. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I don't mind roll out. Um... I am going to, I will pass. Pass. So we're doing roll out, intercept, and clear conditions. But before we go get that all set up and everything, I gotta show you the giveaways that are still going on. And let me show you off the new mat, which Josh actually deployed near too with his Ewoks. This is the Ewok village, or excuse me, the Occupy. This is the forest rollers, I believe it is. <laughs> This side is the Occupied <laughs> Forest. I forget their name. It's the Ewok Village. <laughs> Forgive me, Legion Terrain. I forget your official name, but we all know what it's supposed to be. So yeah, so this is the uh, family hut. It's got, it's really cool. It's got a few different pods all around it, as you can see, kind of going around. These different little bridges we have and ladders and connecting pieces. This is all modular. It could all come off. I did a whole review video on it. 
just a little bit ago. Go check it out if you want to see it kind of taken apart in different ways you can place it. But Josh placed all his Ewoks here. Wicket's in the back with Chewie. The Wookiee's above him. There's Leia back there. Some troopers and some troopers over here. Courses intercept the transmissions. So we have our transmissions where they go since they're fixed. On my side, I went and rolled out three vehicles all the way up within range one of the deployment zone. And then I got the clones behind them. Cody is mixed in with his 212th troopers. And I got some ARC snipers over there. So this is the two tables together, which goes really well. This is the Occupied Force, which I've had for a while. This is more like the Imperial occupying, let's say, Indoor, for example, bleeding into the actual native forest of the Ewoks and Indoor. It's got this great log piece. And it's Aftermath, the worst Star Wars, Star Wars book. <laughs> <laughs> there were some okay parts about that book. Uh, <laughs> As for round one, I played Air Support, which is one commander on this round at the end of activation by any friendly clone trooper commander or field commander. You can do attack with this weapon. He did the, I, I'm going to call it the better version, the Leia one, bar, Bombardment, because she's got Surge to Crit, and she's got Sharpshooter 2, and all that fun stuff, and she can do it three times, so that's pretty nice. So she, he gave his order to Leia, I gave my order to Cody. Um, yeah, and I directed the uh, ISP. And I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, Josh is here. Josh is here. we got we got to talk about J Squared. <laughs> J Squared makes these awesome holders here that holds all your templates. They come with some free silhouettes for both sizes, which is really cool. We got Curl Pot Token Holder to hold all those Curl Pot Tokens you got. And here's the new Aims and Dodges that are mirrored, which we're going to be giving away as well. Um, so check that out. It also will also make the dashboard I just showed you guys, the Order Token Holders. Um, we make a great Squadron Gaming one if you're interested. It's on there. Looks like this. You open it up. Holds all your tokens. Underneath it has the symbol of what token goes where. So if you're interested, check out J Squared. Check out Legion Train for this awesome thing. They have the Black Friday deals going on now, so we don't have a code because their Black Friday deal is better than any code we could have. So just go shop, support them. That's awesome. Um, the mat itself is Gray Matter Gaming. Support them. Curl Pot. Big shout out. Let's get started and have some fun. As you can see on your screen is the lat. We're still giving away from the Get the Games. Almost forgot to mention it earlier. I think I cut too early. Get the Games, local game store that has everything local game store have. Legion, um, Armada, X-Wing, Shatterpoints, Magic, Lorcana, you name it, D&D, &D, everything. Check them out. They're really cool. They ship everywhere. Please support them if you don't have a local game store you're supporting already. They are great. There's a discount code below. And this lat's up for grabs. Listen for the keyword for double entries. And he's starting with Leia. Starting with Leia. The I'm Princess of Leia. Run straight out here. Oh, and if I forgot to show earlier, he did a scouting party with forest dwellers and the Ewoks are all moved up there. You look, it's kind of in the back there. Just uh, so let's up. move her over just slightly okay. so she can possibly see some other people. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to uh, take cover three, get pass out a whole bunch of dodges to some random people, and then we'll shoot a few things over here. Probably the snipers, ATRT, and if I can see them. Some some troopers back there or something. Okay. Two red dice, sharpshooter two, surging the crit. Who's your first target? The strike team? Uh strike team. Ooh. Ouch. Blank on the first one. Okay, let's see what I can get here. I'm okay. Do a suppression. Uh let's do the ATRT. Looking for crits only. He gets one. White dice surging the block on the ATRT. He's okay. Okay, uh let's go with your your one guy, the the I don't know, is it an arc trooper or something? Yep, the arc fun. trooper. He can see one of my full unit of arc troopers. Hey, now. Man, you blinked a lot on the reds. Yep. See, I didn't take the aim. I have a search token within grasp with them from my phase twos. No, we do lose one of those guys, though. All right, we're going to start with Commander Cody, because why not? Cody's going to go ahead and move on up to about there. Bring in his aim with him he got from his target. We're going to go ahead and pass out a couple dodges so my team doesn't get destroyed. So we're going to give it to the ARC Troopers who took a damage and the Phase 2s with my portable scanners on top of my take cover. At the end of my turn, I get to make the air support shot. We're going to hit the Ewoks and kind of chain it up the ladder. I have an aim. I am shooting my beam air support command card shot. It's red, black, black. I use Surge Grid. I don't have any Sharpshooters, so all these shots will be in heavy cover plus. I'm really looking for crits only, which is unfortunate, but it's the best I had. I can pass out supp Suppression. Everything was outside of range three, so no observe for me. First one on the Ewok skirmishers. I'll get one crit on them, so no dodge spending there. That's the orange hatted skirmishers. They don't surge, so that's one wound there. Next one on the um, red. red Ewoks. Um, yeah, we'll spend the aim on this one because Wicked has outmaneuver. Nothing there, just a suppression, goes to cover. And then lastly, Wicked. the Wicked shot. 
Just a suppression. Okay. That's it. That's all she wrote, guys. Going to my stack. Ooh, got a core. Let's go with these Rebel Troopers. Uh, let's move them up. The captain says, charge into victory, my yep. fellow Rebel Troopers. I'm just going to move them up right here. Oh, it makes, makes me talk about some terrain I forgot to talk about. Let's talk about terrain and what it is, right? All the big trees that all these buildings are on and the huts themselves are all heavy cover. This down log is heavy cover. And the stones are heavy cover. The branches, the dirt piles, the stumps, the TIE Fighter wing will all be light cover. The actual TIE Fighter, the buildings, and the big trees will all be heavy cover. The ladders also provide light cover if you end your turn basing them. And you can come on to the top. We do that with a lot of our maps to have some variety of the height. Kind of like in SharePoint a little bit, but not quite. Okay, back to me. What we got, we'll go with my strike team here. They have one suppression, we'll rally. We get it off. We had courage too, though, so we were fine either way. I think we're just going to do what snipers do and take a snipey shot. So let's take an aim for my first action. And then we're going to snipe shoo, shooting? down to those fleet troopers down there. The fleet troopers all the way over there? All the way over there. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, correct that. I'm a little out of range for the fleet troopers. So we're the rebel troopers who moved up. They'll have uh, so. was trying to rebel shoot. troopers have light from the mound. They're gonna have no cover though because I have sharpshooter one. Oh, the mounds are light cover. I thought they were yeah, light. no, they have light. I I'll spend this. the aim to make pierce one, so it's two pierce one oh, with yeah. my lethal. Sure. I did, did, <laughs> didn't need the pierce. Hey. Going to my stack. Core. Let's go with these fleet troopers. Um, we did uh, look at this. This is lower than a silhouette, so I'm just going to move right over it. And I'm going to tuck myself right up behind this tree. Right between the wickets. Double moving into the tree, and just, just to show you guys. Wait. You missed my joke, come on! Right the wickets, oh my goodness. That was good. And I don't know who who has has what Ewoks are putting against them yet, so you guys already know this, but I'm just going to move this one for two seconds. I just want to show you guys the height difference between an Ewok and a Wookiee. Like, <laughs> it makes me laugh really hard when he was putting his list together. Like, like man, that's that's some funny stuff right there. Um, okay, back to me. Go to my stack. We're going to Coral. Let's go with the phase ones with the Z6. They're going to move up by their by their buddy, um, Mr. Cody. That was not the trooper leader. Let's, let's, let's redo that now. Here, let's, let's do that correctly. This is the trooper leader who has to go around the ISP. That's why it looked different. Okay, so he'll come right behind Cody. And then they're going to take a dodge and just be that, you know, nice token battery that we like clones to be sometimes. To my stack. Uh, wicket. Wicket good time. He wicket does need to roll off his suppression. Here. Rally time. Nope. Nope, but it's okay. Wicket's got courage two, right? Yeah, uh, courage two. Sure, yes. So he's fine. Uh, he's two. Yeah, We're gonna move him up into the tree here. Maybe, maybe right in. Okay, right first action. <laughs> oh, oh, just all the Wookiees are dead. This is called a party foul, folks. Josh just decided to take his hand and just karate chop that bridge. Okay, he almost oh did God. it again. <laughs> let, let me just let me just help. My you. hands are too big. He's got he's got big old bear claws, guys. He's just gonna <laughs> move this wicket right there. There we go. Everything's fine. We'll fix Wicket's second. What's, what's Wicket's second action? Uh, Wicket is going to take another dodge. Okay, three dodges it is. Let's yes. go. We've got our other arch unit who also has a suppression. He's going to keep it. But we've got plenty of courage, so we're not too worried about it. We're going to move him to about there. So not a full move, just kind of getting him up into the thick of it a little bit. And then they're going to take a lovely standby in case any kind of Ewok wants to get a little bit of hungry on us. We're going to have a little combat. They're frisky. Okay, going to my stack. Looks like it's another core. Uh, let's go with the red Ewoks because from my view, they are completely covered. From his view, they're just standing out in the open. So I, guess I got some cover, but what he means is I can see them, but he didn't like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. So um, I don't even know why I grabbed the movement tool. I'm essentially just going to take the... Take this guy and move him back here, He's and then I'm going to recohere. Re -co That's your first action. What's your second? Uh, second action will be to. Um, oh, you have to roll a white dice. I do. You get two actions. Hey, you I do. do. Okay, that worked out well Perfect. for you. Um, and then I'll just take another dodge with him. Perfect. We got an ATR two. The first one here. We're going to go with this guy here. He's got a laser oh, cannon. Oh my gosh. He's going to aim and shoot those rebel troopers out in the open. Well, not out in the open, but they're going to have heavy cover. But we're still going to shoot them. Okay, laser cannons, red, black, black. Impact 3 will not matter. And I searched a hit, unlike my rebel cannonball, who searches a crit. Unfortunately, they have light but heavy with their suppression. 
It's really looking. Ooh, well, that's what you want to see. Jesus. Let's let's get greedy and spend the aim on one more. Nope. So two crits. Two more rebel troopers dead. If he goes to a stack and he pulls a core, it's gonna be one of these two. Which one is it gonna be, sir? Uh, let's go with the fleets. The fleets. Uh, where's my leader? Is Far this, this guy? Again. Nope. This also, guy? Nope. Closest to the tree. There that you guy. go. The pointing Arm, guy. Oh, yep. They're always pointing, looking at binoculars. Uh, I can't quite get over the log, so mm -hmm. let's just get to the log. Okay. Okay. What's up with this um, log? And then I'm gonna go back this way. Using this giant log as cover, he's moving into a flanking yep. position that may take a few rounds to get there, but if it gets there, the sleets throw a lot of dice to the pierce. And back to me. Go to my sack. Oh, we got the other laser cannon ETR, so let's go ahead and move that guy up. He's gonna, he's gonna come crouching forward. He's a baby ETRT. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and I think what we'll do is we'll throw our first shot at either the Ewoks or the, the Wookiees up there. I'll take a look. All my options were not great. Everything was heavy cover or low profile heavy cover. So I'm going to go with the Wookiees up top. I have no aim, so it's red, black, black. Looking for either three hits or some crits to get through that cover. Nope, just a suppression. <laughs> okay. Going my stack. It's the Wookiees. They have one suppression. Hi -ya! They're indomitable. They yeah, get it off. Of course they get it off. Let's see if you can not knock the bridge this time. It's, it's not easy to knock either. You have to just like hit it down. Uh, I am in defensive mode, so... Can you um, stay in that mode? Yep. I'm going to go slow. So last time when I shot him, he really wouldn't have to get damage because he also had armor one, so I really needed crits. Okay, so he's coming on up. Uh, we're just going just gonna to head up right there. He's scaling that lovely bridge. Okay, cool. Put my stack. We've got a core. Let's go with the blue 501st rocket launcher unit. We're going to move up once to here, and then again we're going to move up behind the ATRT so it can block my line of sight and I can hide behind it a little bit. And that's it. He went to his stack. He pulled an operative, which has to be the Mr. <laughs> this is going to keep happening tonight. I'm so sorry, guys. Literally, like... It, it, we just it, talked about that. It, it sits there fine, but if you hit it, like anything, it, it will fall. Like Just like this ladder. Look, it's not going anywhere, but if I hit it, it, it will fall. So, anyways, okay. Chewbacca's moving up. Anyway, uh, he's going to move up and he's going to shoot at the ATRT if he's in range. Okay. I have armor. He's got impact one and surging to crit. He rolls two reds and two whites. He gets two crits and will impact a third one to a crit, which means all three of his dice are coming through, which which is which is not fun. Okay, so I roll whites with surging the block. Let's see if we get lucky here. We get one. We take two. No, it's pierce one, right? Pierce one. Yeah, I get I get one, he pierces it, so I take all three. Lastly, we have my phase twos of the 212. They're gonna start charging up. They're gonna go right in front of Cody. Eh, they're different. They have different helmets. Thank you. He's going to move to... Let's move him up by the ATRT as well. So double moving my phase twos, and that's it. He pulled a core. He got the bears. He oh, has to roll one two. white dice to see if they get two so, or one action. Just one action. One. So um, because I only get one action, they already have a dodge. I'm going to just take another dodge uh, here. He dodged it up. Hide behind this tree. This is their home after all. All I have left is my ISP, and Don's not here, so I have to say the token line. Internet service provider, because that's what he always says, right? When I bring this thing, sure. we're going to go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> the viewers know. <laughs> Sounds good. You can tell Josh doesn't watch the channel very much. I do. You put it in the background, I've heard. But, you know, I do, yeah. We still appreciate that. I give you that premium watch, bro. <laughs> Does that pay more? <laughs> it's only because I can't stand commercials. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and use my... Six black dice, and I'm going to shoot something. Probably Chewy, because he's going to have low profile or dodges. So we'll probably shoot him. Okay. We have six black dice. We have critical two, surging to hit into Chewbacca, who's got heavy cover. We have a name. Not a bad start. 50%. Get some cover. Oh, there we go. So three. we'll lose both dice to the heavy cover that we just re-rolled. I got three. Chewy does block one. He takes two. His last activation is Rebel Troopers. Dodge and standby. Dodge and standby. That completes the round. It's not a scoring round. Next round will be a scoring round. We had the bridge fall over a few times because Josh likes to mutton smack it. We, <laughs> <laughs> we lost. What did you lose? Uh, four rebel troopers and an Ewok. I lost an arc trooper. We moved up and we're getting ready to engage. These Wookiees are too big for the huts, which makes them angry. Go on underneath. Round two, I went with Synchronized Offensive. After a friendly vehicle unit issues an order, choose a friendly clone trooper unit at range one and two and issue them an order. Oh, it's a beautiful, it's such a beautiful friendship, Josh. I mean, it really is. I mean, it's a permanent card. Wicked Gains, Teamwork, Leia Organa. When an Ewok commander issues an order, it may choose a friendly rebel trooper unit at range one of it. 
and issued an order. When a rebel commander issues orders, you may choose a friendly Ewok unit at range one and issue it an order. So, you know, you got, got, some, got, some, got some lovely teamwork there. Couple so, things. Leia gave her order to herself and Wicked, because that's what she does. And then with the card tech, she also gave it to the other skirmisher. I gave mine to this lovely ISP, who then get it coordinated over to um, the lovely um, ARC troopers, who then use Five's coordination to coordinate the... Blake and Lords here. 212 Phase 2s. And then lovely Cody did his direct vehicle. That's how I have my orders. And with that, one pip beats the two Vigilance. pips. Vigilance. Yeah, Vigilance kept the dodges, if you're wondering. So I have a dodge, two dodges, and he has two dodges kept as well. And that's because of Vigilance on both our commanders. Okay, we've got the ATRT here. It's going to go ahead and take a movement up. This looks ominous. We're going to move to that here. Actually, we're not going to move that far. We're going to move a little shy of full movement. Because I just remember the ATRT only has a range of... A, it has to be within, it has to be two two to four, so as long as I'm not within range one. Perfect. So we moved up to there, and we're going to go ahead and take a shot with our laser cannon onto Chewbacca again. We do have an aim this time. Two blacks, one red, surging to hit with an aim token and a heavy cover Chewbacca. Do it. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a little crazy. I'm hoping for some crits here, guys. Nope. No, unfortunately, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Sack, he pulled a corn. He said he's going with some rebel troopers. Yep. Guys, what does the over under? He knocks that bridge down. The key <laughs> word of the day is Josh's bridges are falling down. Let's smack you. Where <laughs> falling down. Sunshine. Actually, we always do something like your face or your hair or something, something to make you all blushy. I don't know, guys. I'm thinking. Let me think of the keyword. It's not. Mm, sure. All right. I'm just going to move up just far enough to shoot him with everything I've got. For those who don't know, Josh is a Texas boy. He was really happy to see his team win the World Series. So I was, yeah. Shout out to them. Go Rangers, baby. Before we talk about this, the second <laughs> I stopped filming, Josh did knock down that bridge up there. So unfortunately, the key word of the day is going to be something about Josh's bridges falling down or knocking something. Let's do something about Josh knocking bridges down. Anyways, seven blacks, one white, critical one. Rebel Troopers in the full armor ATRT. He got that is a good natty crit, and he's going to turn one of those surges to a crit with his critical one. So he's got three. So if that I don't roll any good. paint here, he just killed my ATRT. Good roll. Let's hope for some paint. We ah! got one. We're gonna break though. We're gonna survive with one health. Let's see. We get we break the gear. That means we might lose an action. I doubt we'll survive for next round. But you know, it could happen. And right, we're gonna do something a little different here, a little more exciting and fun. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this guy up just slightly, so just to about there. That's his first action. Second action to be to shoot. We're gonna shoot the Wookies up top. Oh. But we're going to use Gunslinger on this thing. So we're going to shoot three black dice at the top, three black dice at Chewie. But in the top one, I'm going to fire support my lovely um, Phase 2s who are in range. So we're going to add their dice pool to that dice pool, and then Chewie will just take three. Okay, okay so first shots against the Wookiees up top. They have Armor 1 and Heavy Cover. It's going to be a total of three black dice for the um, Gunslinger attack. It's going to be four blacks and six whites for the clones. And because I have the pilot... This is getting surged to crit for this attack, not just critical. With an aim, they have heavy cover armor one. A couple more dice. Those no, that look, looks pretty good so far. So we'll spend the. That was a crit, I think, or a surge. It was this crit. Okay, thank you. Yep. We got two more hits. Anyway. I'll, we'll double check the video here after I remove these blanks, and we'll take a quick look to see if that dice was in fact a crit, like Josh said, because he's such a nice guy. He was right. It was a crit, so thank you. Um, two to cover, one to armor, which means you're looking at two, four, six still getting through on these Wookiees. They only block blocks. Yeah. You save one, take five, <laughs> which is only one dead Wookiee, technically. One with two wounds, but still only one dead model. So that's that's not terrible. And now we're going to take the second shot. It's going to be the three black dice with critical into Chewbacca. No aim, no nothing else. We just really wanted to spread the love out. You know what I'm saying? And we will get one crit. So Chewie does have to roll for one crit. The hit will go to cover, because he has heavy cover. Chewie takes a wound and a suppression. Not too shabby. Good job, ISP. He pulls Chewie. Two suppression, oh, and still Chewie, for some reason, is the only Wookiee that does not roll red dice with a nominal. He gets I both, get both off, though. Off. Chewie says... Look at that. He, um... I'm going to aim good. and shoot at your ATRT. ATRT has one health. Yep, that's what I figured. Okay, aiming and shoot at the ATRT. This is probably the end of it. I have armor. He's got two reds, two whites, searching the crit and impact one. Well, so far he's got the crit and the impact. Can he get more? No, but he will crit one with a, with a surge, and he will impact the other one, which means I need two paint here to survive. No, actually, I died no matter what, because you have pierce one. Yep. 
I walked none anyway, so the ATRT is destroyed. We got a cord. Unfortunately, this is a scoring round, so I really do need to get into range two of these uh, of this scoring thing in the middle here. What's uh? So we'll come to there for my first action. And I think my second action will be just to throw a, a bucket of black dice into those rebel troopers over there. And by bucket, I mean a whopping five, not really a bucket. The two rebel troopers over there? Yep. Okay. Okay, five black dice because the rocket launcher's cumbersome and I moved. So there we go. Let's see what we can do. He's got heavy cover. Oh, one crit will get through. Okay. So I can't kill the unit. So I can hurt the sniper. Sniper's dead. <sighs> All right. These guys' fleets, he's already going with them. Hold core. I, I knew I should have moved up the f clones this early, but you know, I really needed to get in that square range. Maybe I should have gained the score. You know, mistakes are made, guys. You're not, no one plays perfect all the time. Okay, so I know I don't I'm play perfect most to, of the time, so that's fine. I'm going to bring them around. Oh, boy. That's a oh, Pierce 1 scattergun shot to the face. Of, oh, this is going to hurt, boys. This is going to hurt. Okay, he's going to shoot my, my clones at face. Uh, you know, close. what's the word I'm looking for? I can't talk tonight. Words are hard. Point blank range. range. This is naked dice, but it's still 10 white, 2 red, pierce 1. I have a dodge or a surge I can use. Ooh, it's not terrible. He blanked on most of them, but it's still 3. 3 pierce 1. I will spend the dodge to make it 2 pierce 1, because I can't use this surge token, so I've already used my 1 token. Now roll reds. He does pierce the only one I block, which means I will lose 2 five of first. Okay, we got Commander Cody. Commander Cody is going to not double move in the range of that, because we don't want to get eaten by Ewoks, or we'll keep with our commander at least. We're going to move once, though. And then we're going to pop on our free Observe 2. Put two Observe tokens on those Fleet Troopers for free. And then we're going to go ahead and take a shot into them. Which is over here. Yep. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we have red, red, black, white. I have two Observation tokens. I only had one over here. Um, he has heavy cover. I searched a crit. That's a, that's a good roll. Uh, we're going to spend one of my Observation tokens on this one. We'll spend my other Observation token on this one. And unfortunately, both these will go away to cover. But I do have two crits getting through. Two dead. He got the Wookiees. He's going to roll a red Wookiees. dice because they're indomitable. Hiya! They don't get it off, but that's okay. They have courage too. He's still um, in defensive position. Are you keeping that? Oh. Uh, well, that's only for melee. Only for melee. Yeah, let's just keep it. Okay, so he'll take his, run take his speed one. Here. I'll help him move it to knock the bridge down, and he's going to shoot <laughs> the 501st down below. Okay. okay. So, he's got three blacks, three whites, surging to hit. I have light cover on my 501st down below. He, he gets three becomes two. I have a surge token I can share off of my buddy. If I need it, we will lose one. Save one. Unfortunately, after looking at the current battlefield and how we things are, no matter even if I run up these last few troops, he has more things that can get there than I can. So at this point, we're going to move up a little bit, start getting in a better position. But we're probably going to abandon the trying to get that point for this round and go ahead and just move up once and shoot the fleet troopers for my second action. Four black dice, six white dice. I do have one search token on a friend I can spend if I want to. He's got heavy cover on his fleets. Ooh, that's, that's, oof. I could spend a surge to get one through, but that does not seem worth it. So I'm going to keep the surge and just give you suppression. Okay. Going with this core over here. Pull the core. He's got two suppressions to get two or one action. Hey, I, I didn't touch that one. <laughs> Josh knocked the bridge down <laughs> with his mind this time. <laughs> Damn liars, man. You should call me Gene Gray. No. It's probably because when you knocked the whole tree over last time, we didn't. Hey, hey, no, no smack talking. Uh huh. Okay, I still get two actions, right? Or do I only get one? You only get no, one. I only get you one. only get one, sir. That's how Legion works. I don't play these guys enough. Uh, I'm gonna run him back. Okay, so then start the long trek back. He, he had enough of watching his buddies die, and he's <laughs> he's coming back home. Okay, yeah, got the ATRT. Why don't we take an aim and we shoot into those fleets as well? We got red, black, black with an aim, impact won't matter, surging to hit. He's got heavy cover fleets. I'm not going to be greedy this time. We're just going to spend the aim on this one. Yeah, you have to, you have to just roll for one. Oh, yeah, ha -ha. I should go with the red bears. You go with the red bears. Uh, I'm going to pop. Call arms. Or... That was supposed to be the horn. That was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> that was so terrible. <laughs> what does call the arms say so people who don't? Oh, uh, sure. So, Call to Arms is a tap card. It says this unit gains one suppression token. So, I will do that now so I don't forget about it. Um, and the unit gains charge until the end of the round. So, they now have charge. They do. Okay. Charged up, sir. So, I am going to come hauling around this corner. Do -do 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 -do. 
Ooh, we pre-measured this. So we it pre-measured there. it. And it does. And he's going to get oh. right there. Okay, so you'll pull your horde into my two people left. But I guess technically I should have kept it there so you could have put it. But that's fine. It's fine. I pushed hey, it It's forward. whatever. Uh, I'm not. He's got to eat them up in two seconds. But, you know, yeah. on the off chance he doesn't, I guess we'll fix it. Okay. Move your suppression tokens out of the way, sir. I'm so sorry. My tokens are getting in your way of your giant <laughs> horde of bears. They're about to eat <laughs> some clones. They like things that wear white plastoid armor, I've heard. So let's just see how this goes. Seven black for the early Ewoks in the trapper. One red for the axe. Pierce one. Doesn't surge. So we're looking, at a, roll. looking at a total of oh, four. Surge four. Dang it. I need, I need four blocks to live. Because with this, no, I don't need four blocks. I need three blocks. You pierce one. Pierce one. You pierce the only block I got. So, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> okay. My staff, we've got the snipers over here. Um, you know, Murder Bears just moved up, but... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an aim. I'm going to shoot into those fleet troopers with these guys. Mm, okay. Two black, one red with an aim. Heavy on a light cover. <laughs> lethal. Jeez. Mm. Okay. What are you going to do, sir? Uh, it's, it's Right now, It's it'd be one pierce one. Yeah. I think I'm going to re-roll the red because the odds of rolling paint on this is pretty high. There we go. Okay, so this will go to cover, which means it's not pierced, but at least it's two dice. And white dice usually don't roll the best. Same now difference. Got one. one with the orange bears, or I like to call the Wicked Warriors because they're the same color as oh, Wicked. So I'm just going to move them up here under behind the tree and then uh, take another dodge. Okay, Wicked's watching so his three. people move. Take another dodge in scoring range. Okay, back to me. Okay, the last thing I got is these arc troopers right here. There's one. They're going to go ahead and... Take a move action. We're just going to come, not a full move. We're going to come to right here, which with tactical gives us a free aim. And then we're going to go ahead and shoot into the lovely Ewoks that just moved up. Okay, we have an aim from our um, tactical. We have six black, six or three white, three black from fives, and a black and white from each regular arc trooper. And I have uh, target, er, targeting scopes. Give me a precise one. What do you say, sir? Unfortunately, I do, I do not surge, so that's not good. Oh. No, that's no, oh. not good at all. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. So we'll take these three black dice here, and we'll spend the aim with our precise one. So only four after all that dice. Good conversion, at least, but not another great start. You only block on blocks. You didn't even a dodge. I said, go ahead and use it. So he just took three wounds to the four, took a suppression. Now he's pulled his stack out of the core. Boop. We got some fleets. Some fleety fleets. We shall shoot. shoot. Ooh, shooting my ISP, it looks like. I'm assuming that's range two, looks like it is. So let's take a shot. You know what you love it? Ten whites, two reds. I do have cover one, armor three on the ISP. Let's see what he gets. He's got cover. So all your hits will... No, hang on, hang on. Yeah, all your hits will go away. Cover one takes away one hit. I'm like, I'm just taking away blanks. Armor three will take away the other three hits. I, that was a blank. I know. Okay. I'm um, just moving it for you. And then you'll have one crit left. So I do have to roll for a crit. White dice. Oh. And I take a wound. Ha. It was Pierce once. Remember when I rolled, it was going to take a wound. But I took a wound. I'm going to go with uh, Wicket here. Oh, Wicket. Uh, he's going to take an aim. Okay, take an aim, which gives Lay an aim because of teamwork. Maybe we'll get a name. Yep, and what's he doing for a second action? He's just, <laughs> just throwing crying. stuff down. He just can't. All right, stuff. we're just going to take a, a dodge. Okay. And he goes... Uh, it goes, well, it goes back to you, because I'm, I'm all out of stuff between yep, my fire yep, support yep, and yep. dying. So I'm assuming at this point we're going to see a Leia move up and shoot since he took this lovely aim. Yep. Because this unit uh, went, he just forgot to flip it over. There we go, buddy. So Leia, Grana's turn. What's she going to do? Um, She's going to move up and shoot. Okay. So she is going to... Sometimes when Josh is playing games, you got to give him a second. He's like a he's like the old Mac 2. So like they're good, solid machines. They take a second to configure. <laughs> You're such a dick sometimes. <laughs> you know, it's because I love you. Okay, she's going to move up, shoot in into the armor three. No cover because she's got sharpshooter. Let's see how that goes. Okay, he has an aim. He searches a crit. Pierce one, sharpshooter two. I have armor three. So he's looking for a crit. That's a good <laughs> shot. You have an aim. You have an aim. Wicked helped you out. Wow. He's really looking for some surges or some natty crits. <laughs> Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Scoring-wise, I'll get one there. He definitely claimed the middle in that one, so he'll have two to my one. We lost some units. I lost the ATRT and the phase one unit. He lost some units, but not a full unit. Let's go. Moving around three. 
I went with Bring It Down. It's a Cody card. It says, During Cody's activation, he may perform his free actions up to two times. When a friendly unit declares attack against enemy unit that has not free shogun, you may spend it. You gain suppressive if it's a troop unit, impact one if it's a vehicle. Unfortunately, the dark troopers get around this, which is unfortunate. It makes me mad every time I read it for some reason. I don't know why. No time for sorrow. Two troopers. When a friendly trooper is issued an order, he may perform a free speed one move. Both of his fleets and his rebel troopers did a free speed one move. They're up there. I gave mine to Cody and directed the ISP. I get to go first. Let's have some fun. Cody's going to go first because he can perform his free moves twice. So first we're going to do is we're going to observe them twice. And then we get to do it again because that's what we're doing. Let's, uh, let's go ahead. Let's try to thin some things out. Let's observe these guys twice. Those are free actions. I already have an aim. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take another aim and we're gonna shoot uh, for our first action and then we'll shoot in the Ewoks for our second action. And just to make sure, in case I don't kill him here, I'm gonna spend my first observation token to add suppressive to this gun. So it's two reds, two blacks, two whites, lethal one, surge to grit, now suppressive with two aims. How many keywords for that? So it's a good amount. It's a keyword salad. It's way too many. I use surge to crit, so that's good. We'll spend the first aim on this one. And let's go for broke. Let's spend the observation token on this one. And I guess that's not to happen. Let's let's uh, let's let's make it lethal. Three pierce one. Hey, people the corner wants to go to the Ewoks. He's got three suppression though, thanks to Cody's suppressive gun. So can he get them all off? Got one. Only one, which means he gets one action. What's that one action going to be? Um, <laughs> the, I don't know. Um. Dodge? Take a dodge, it'd be a nuisance, okay. I guess. Sounds good. Back to me. We got a core. Let's go with the phase two units here. We're gonna take an aim for the first action and then shoot our whole dice bolt into the fleets. Since they haven't gone yet, and they have the observation token as well. Same thing, we spent the observation token to make this suppressive against the fleets. We have four blacks, six whites, with an aim token and targeting scopes with precise one. He's got heavy cover. So I do have a surge token on them. I am reliable. I could spend. So let's keep that just in case we want it. Let's spend the aim for these three here. A little more crit. And we'll sure we'll spend their surge token as well. And um, let's go for broke. Let's spend the observation token as well. No. Okay, so heavy covers and take two. So you're looking at three. Ooh. Okay. Unfortunately, you got the Wookiees. I almost want the ice to shoot him. I'm like, he won't get the Wookiees. All right, so we flip to the offensive, and we are going to come down, which is about right there, and we are going to charge into the arcs up here, which we already pre-measured. Yep. Okay, so I'll let him move into touching all my arcs, and then I will yeah. move the rest of mine around. And he'll go ahead and swing and swing. Four blacks, two reds with the shield, surging to hit into my arc troopers. He does surge, mm -hmm. so that's going to be a pretty good start. There is a dodge on the neighboring phase one unit from Vigilance. We will spend it. Choop. To so get it down to at least right. four. I roll red dice in defense. I block two, take two. Ouchie, ouchie. Okay, we're going to go with the ISP. Look at me. He, he, he. We're going to turn it a little bit about there, touching this piece of terrain. And we're going to shoot some, uh, some lovely uh, Ewoks. Okay. Fortunately, it's still the angle which just gives them heavy cover steel, which is a sad thing that from the tree roots. But anyways, it's going to be six black dice, critical two, surging hit with an aim. He has dodge, low profile, all the fun stuff. Let's see what happens. Oh, I like what's starting to happen. So there's one of my critical twos. And then we'll spend the aim on these two right here. We'll get another crit. So this will go away to your cover. But you have four crits, no dodges or anything to spend. Just block one still, but he loses three. He's going with Leia. He's, she's got Inspire two. We're going to take off some suppression, I think. Let's take off here. The are just within range two, so he gets them enough there. Eight. Which they stay panicked, but barely. And but then, Leia. Uh, Leia's going to take an aim, Ooh. which will give him an aim. Teamwork. And then we're going to shoot at whatever that thing the is. The ISP? Sure. Okay. All right. Three, three blocks dice. with an aim. Pierce one, surging to crit, sharpshooter. Hey, you got an aim. You got, you got, you got one more paint than you did last time. Really, you only need crits, though. No. So oh, the two Jesus. hits will get eaten up by my armor. No damage. We've got the ATRT, and I think what we're going to do, which is funny enough, we're going to move speed two just to boop right there, and we're going to step on him with our claws. There we go. Hey, grappling claws are three red dice. I have no aims. He's got a dodge. Our new surge to hit is going to be three. You going to dodge one away? Yep. Okay, it's down to two. 
Unit's dead. He's going with the panicked fleets. He needs at least one suppression off to do anything. Otherwise, he don't do nothing. He gets one off, so they will they will not be panicked. He'll take the panic token and one suppression off. They're using Leia's Courage still, so they can get one action here. Um, I'm shooting your ATRT. Okay, shooting ATRT. Two whites, two reds, Pierce one. He switches the attack to Cody. It's a good hit. I don't, I don't think Cody has any cover for this angle, unfortunately. So he'll roll three dice. <laughs> well, hang on. You do Pierce one. Yeah, sure. And I will take two. Grab my stack. We got the last one is the phase one, uh, 212th here with the Z6. We'll just take an aim and shoot this. Those pesky fleets, see if we can finish them off. Four black, six away from my Z6 with an aim. These guys have targeting scopes as well. See what happens. Once it looks better than it is because I don't surge. So we got three so far. We'll spend the aim on the three blacks with our precise one. For one, we lose two to cover, so just the two crits getting through will be enough. Nope, the leader survives. <laughs> the stack, put it down. It's that, it's that core right there, that <laughs> the lone one guy, guy who's running all the way back to hold mm -hmm. this point. I, could, I just couldn't finish him off, guys. Okay, he's mm -hmm. coming back. Yes. He'll be his point grabber. Yeah. Unless I has pieces otherwise. <laughs> okay, looks good. Okay, let's go with the snipers over here. We're going to take an aim and see if we can finish off the fleets finally. Nope. No chance. Okay, red and black. Lethal one, sharpshooter brings his heavy down the light. I'm going to spend the aim to make this pierce one. Oh, you punk. Got exactly what I needed. Boom, he's dead. Hey, he's going with those rebel troopers there. What are you doing, Joshua boy, besides knocking over bridges? <laughs> I'm going to aim and shoot. Aim and shooting the ISP? ISP. Okay. Yes, sorry. Aim and shooting. He's got seven blacks with a white critical one. I've got a uh, light cover with armor three. It's, it's a pretty good start. Gonna spend the aim probably on his two black guys here. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Okay. Well, the light cover takes away one hit. Armor three will remove the other three hits. But he still has three crits after all that. Still, not what you want to see. I do surge defensively. Let's see if we can save some, some, should we just save one, take two. Okay, I got a lovely special force that's gonna be my two arcs that are engaged the Wookiees. So they're just gonna take an aim and try to punch the Wookiees. Okay, I have a black and white for each one. So I have two people left. That's gonna be a black, black, white, white with an aim token. He's got, he's in offensive mode, so no armor or anything like that. Let's see what happens. It's a good start. They're right there. Spend the aim on these two blacks. Nothing, not not even one. He's going wicket. Okay, going wicket. That's what I pulled off the stack. Uh, first things first, we're gonna move into melee with the ISP. You have relentless. So would you like to take an aim and then move? Uh, why? Yes, I would, Alex. Okay, there you go. Which would give Leia another <laughs> aim, but she won't use it this turn. Two reds and the black. Pierce one, searching a crit. He's looking for crits. Oh, he's got two <laughs> so far. Ouch. Two Pierce ones. Not what I wanted to see. Okay, spending an aim. Can you get a third? Oh he my can. gosh, wicked he for the can. win. Okay. Get out of here, son. I, I, oh my god, I surged defensively. He does pierce one, so I'll take two, which breaks I you. think breaks me. That so let me, breaks you, let me roll that orange dice. I got broken by an Ewok. It is the gear one. He pulled he pulled Chewy, and he's doing what, sir? I'm going to aim and shoot. Aim and shoot in the ISP. It's down to two health. Let's see what he can do. I am in heavy cover because of that big stone rock in front of me with armor three. He doesn't have an aim. He searches the crit. He has pierce one. He has impact one. Two reds, two whites. Okay, we'll probably rerolling those two whites. There's your crit. He searches the crit. Okay. These will go away from armor and cover before, uh, or excuse me, cover, no, no, cover. Yeah, heavy cover removes them before impact. I'm right. You do a pierce one though, so you will do another wound, bringing the ISP down to one health. You pulled the Ewoks. Pull the Ewoks. Um, let's, uh, I guess, take a dodge and stand by. Okay. And then he has these fleet troopers over here. Are they stepping around the corner and shooting, I'm assuming? They sure are. Okay, so he'll bring them out and around, and then he'll shoot them. He's just contemplating where exactly he wants to place them because he's right. thinking. That's right. Ten whites, two reds, surging to hit, pierce one. He needs a crypt. Yeah. Lots of hits. There's my crit, There's a sir. crit, so this would go to, these two would surge, but they would go to a cover and an armor, that as well, and then the crit would, I'm not going to roll anything because he'd pierce it, and that kills the ISP thanks to the shotgun. On a scoring round, um, I lost the ISP this round, and a couple arcs, he lost um, his fleets and his Ewoks that were in the middle finally, but he's pushing up, I'm in a little bit of trouble, let's go to score round four. Scoring round, I want attack of clones. Three clone troopers. When a unit is issued an order with this card, it either gains a surge or removes a suppression. 
You might want somebody has to save our skin. After it activates, you may you may change ugh, you may choose a friendly unit at range one or two with an order to face up a token and gets to activate right away as well. Okay, perfect. I gave my orders to both of my clones left, the phase ones and the phase two two twelve. And the arc troopers who were engaged, they all got a uh, search token, and then Cody went ahead and directed the ATRT with an aim from Link Targeting Array. He gave his to the Wookiees, to Wicket, and to Miss Leia Ogana herself. He rolled off, unfortunately, he gets to go first, which really sucks. So, what are you going to go with first? Uh, and after Leia goes, the other two can go, right? That's what it says, right? After Leia goes, you may have one unit go. One unit go. Yep, okay. with a face of order token. Good. I'll give you a second to think. You start with Miss Leia. Go with Leia. Princess Leia. Leia to you, sir. Move up and I, I'm just going to measure this. Uh, to see how far I need to move up here. Oh, okay. So I just need to move up behind those. Groups. It is a scoring round for everyone remembering at home. And I am within one there. You are within one there. So that's your first action to move up. Second action. Second action will be to pass out a whole bunch of dodges. Take cover three with portable scanner, so she gets to pick three units within range one, and they all get a dodge if she would like. So let's. There, you know, he's within one. Him. Those Ewoks are within guys, one. guys. Yeah. The fleets are within one as well. Are they within one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, they're safe there. One. You're safe there. Let's okay. Start. And then now, immediately after your activation, you <coughs> range one to two. I'm gonna guess. Yep, the Wookies. I'm gonna go with the hey, Wookies. What are they gonna do? Uh, they're gonna aim and. Punch? Punch. Okay. Unfortunately, my arc swift completely, even with an aim last round, and did no damage. That Wookiee is still alive with one health. Okay, he's got two reds, four blacks with aim, activating duelist, surging to hit. I'm impervious. Oh, that's a good start That's again. a real good start. Okay, so he'll spend his aim to reroll that miss, and also activating Pierce 1. It's a better form of lethal in every way. Does not happen, but he still is going to have a total of five Pierce 1. My impervious is going to give me six dice. I get one extra for that Pierce, so I'm going to be rolling six. He still pierces one. Let's see what happens. I will spend the search token on myself, and then you're gonna then you're going to pierce it. Pierce it, and I still take the wounds and die because I only had three health left. But I wanted to spend my token I had. Go to my stack. We've got Commander Cody, which is really what we wanted. Not only because we just want him, but we really need to, you know, not die here. So Cody's going to. Um, I don't know how I get this middle point so again. Nice. I'm gonna have to. I'm in trouble, man. Okay. Um, let's take an aim token. That's better. I do have one. I'll roll off this rush. I have courage too. It's fine. I'll take an aim, and we're going to shoot into the fleet troopers over there. I also have the lovely phase ones. Do I really want to tap that? Oh, I'm so torn. Um, I feel like the answer is kill things, but I feel like the answer is I have to score. So I'm actually going to move up and shoot the fleets by myself. I'm not going to fire support, unfortunately. I need to get in the square range. Okay, two reds, a black and a white. I did observe two onto them, so I have my two observation tokens here. We'll spend the first observation token. I do search to crit. And we'll spend the second observation token. Nope, so you're looking at three. You're going to spend a dodge. Yep. Down to two. Take two. Okay, he's going with Wicket. Wicket's well within double move range, which he already checked off screen. So he's going to move twice and proc, proc Relentless to uh, punch my lovely guy in front of his face. Let's see if Cody can live. Two reds and a black surgeon to crit. Pierce one. Got two. Cody's gonna roll two reds. Ah! He'll pierce one. I'll take two. I'm down to one health. We're gonna go with the phase two unit here. It's going to proc uh, offensive push, moving up to the scoring range, which will be about there. And then we will shoot the fleets that we shot last time. Sure. Heavy cover from the ladder. Four black, six whites. I have precise one for my targeting scopes and a name from offensive push. Man, we did not have that like really big money roll yet on these big dice pulls. Okay, so only one crit gets through after all that. You lose one. Okay, it's Josh's turn. If anyone was wondering what happened to Commander Cody canonically, well, I think he might have went to Indoor. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we don't hear from him anymore. So I'm going to go with the uh, uh, orange hood or brown hood, whatever. I'm going to use Call to Arms, which uh, gives me charge. Yep. I do take a suppression for that. Okay, he's going to charge into battle with his remaining Ewoks. Cody only has yeah. one health, and he's got Pierce 1. So as long as he can roll one hit, he's Cody is go dead. here, and then they're going to yep. swarm him. Around. And like I said, if you can roll one hit, my Cody does fall. He's got three blacks to run. If he rolls any hits, Cody's dead. He rolled two hits, Pierce 1. I'll roll it for fun, but... He does pierce. <laughs> he does pierce it, and Cody does fall to the Ewok murder bears. We're gonna go to my uh, 
I'm gonna go to the stack. No, I don't want to go to the stack. Let's go with this last coordinate here. Oh, you got somebody back to the hand. Yeah, my phase ones. I'm trying to score some points here and not just get obliterated. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna move up just into scoring range. It's not even a full range two to there. Actually, we'll come as far out as we can so that we're not gonna be covered from that ladder again. Oh yeah, so move up to there. We don't have an aim this time, but we will shoot some naked dice into those uh, fleets, see if we can hurt them. No ladder coverage this time, but they do have a suppression, so they'll have light cover. I have four blacks, six whites with no aim, but I do have a surge token on myself and as well as some surge tokens on some neighbors. So we'll see what we use there. Man, not, not great again, but I think we're going to, um, we will use the search token on myself, which then goes away from cover, so that's two after all that. <laughs> no damage. Oh, he's going with the fleets. He's the got fleets. three suppression. He gets oh. a gun off, which means he gets one action. What's that one action, sir? It'll be a move up. A move up. Maybe. Depends on if I can get with him. One of he the... finally found a piece yeah. of the pie. Sorry, we didn't do this off camera. J Josh is just having a lot of right. existential crisis here. He doesn't know what to do. Um, he definitely does not have this game in the bag, so it's okay. You're not going to be within range yeah, now, but you'll be closer be for next round. So maybe move behind the rock, you know, just living that life. Maybe. I don't know, just a suggestion, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, your, yeah. Your bears okay. kind of ate my... Uh, Commander, and then your your Wookiees also ate my um, Fives Arc Trooper unit. So, you know, things aren't looking great for the clones. Back to me, I guess. ATRT is going to do the same thing as the last time. It's going to move up slightly. <laughs> and it, it wow. has an aim from its... Uh, just stomping on bears. Yeah, I'm going to throw three red dice. You, you have a dodge this time. But... Just stomping on my teddy bears, man. Three reds with an aim. It's going to be three hits. I'll let you spend your one dodge down to two. Yep, yep, yep. Two dead bears. <sighs> Hey, he's gonna go with some rebel troopers he just pulled. Let's see if he knocks yeah, that bridge over. Rebel troopers. We're gonna just move up and shoost. Would you like the phase ones or the phase twos, sir? Phase ones. Phase ones it is. Screw those guys. Seven blacks, one white, critical one for his guys. I have a search token on the friend I can spend. Oops, My critical, black dice critical are just one. There's your crit. not good tonight. Hey, you just drew three crits. That's okay. I know, but that, okay. that was all luck. Uh, I'll block one, take two. We've got snipers, sniper, snipers. Unfortunately, there's an ATRT blocking the shot on the Ewoks <laughs> from this vantage point. Mm. And because it's kind of kind of not looking great here, what we're going to do is we're going to move them in a way which keeps me in range of scoring, but also helps me gives me a better angle. So we're going to come to about here with them, which should give me an angle on the Ewok there. Yes. Okay. And we're going to aim and we'll shoot them. Yeah, you can angle them. They're definitely going to have their heavy cover plus, as we call it, because of the low profile. Two blacks and a red with an aim token. Lethal one. That's pretty much. Oh, there's a crit. Um, Let's just say. Let's just try to get more crits. Pierce isn't going to make a huge difference here. Oh, my. I decritted myself. <laughs> so still just one. Hiya! Ah, I should have made it lethal. <laughs> Chewie's still alive. That's unfortunate. So he's going to go with Chewie. Uh, I'm going to aim and shoot. The phase ones again? Yep. Okay. He's got two reds, two whites. I've got heavy cover. He's got in, uh, Pierce one and Surge Crit. Okay. Okay. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> two go to the cover. It's going to be two Pierce one. I have a Surge to spend. It doesn't matter. He pierced it. It's two more phase ones down. He has Rebel Trooper last. He's already scoring. He's just going to probably chill there. Yep. Take a break. Okay. Sure. Well, he'll easily score one and two because I'm going to have one, two to his one. Wicket one. Ewoks two. Leia three. So he wins it three to two. So he gets that point. So he'll have two to my one, which brings the total up to four to two. And at this point, I'm going to wave the white flag and surrender. I am so sorry. I did not do well with your list. Josh, I think they did very well with your list. So that's good. But um, yeah, I have one phase one left, a fully in the phase twos, and a strike team with an ATRT. That's it. He's got Wookiee still. A little bit of Ewoks left. Wicket full health. Leia full health. Full health rubber trooper. A uh, pretty close to full health Chewie. A decently healthy uh, full health fleet. Trooper still too. When can you ever say that? Yeah, so I, I don't have enough firepower to deal with that, nor melee threat. And I lost my commander with my command cards too. So definitely calling it there. Um, yeah, I think the 501st moving up early was a mistake. I should have probably stayed back and let him have that point round one and played the gun line game. But it didn't seem to matter. Just I couldn't kill the fleets and I couldn't kill those one Ewoks. And it just it was a tough it was a tough day for the clones. We learned that Ewoks don't just do good against stormtroopers. Anything in white plastoids they seem to do well against. Josh, is your first time playing Ewoks? Tell me what you think.
if you can get them to survive the, up until melee, they are wickedly good. Wickedly good. I think they're wickedly good. How do you like the new map besides breaking the bridges all the time? <laughs> Glue the bridges, but uh, honestly, the map looks looks super cool. Um, I wish I would have thought of it. <laughs> so if you're interested uh there's a review video about a video or two behind check it out they do have a black friday sale on all the stuff you see on this table everything on this table is from legion train except for the mats from gray matter gaming which we do have codes for them below but everything else is from legion train um terrain wise so go check them out big shout out to uh gray squadron uh gray matter gaming legion train uh, AMG, Gifted Games, J Squared in the house, everybody, Colonel Pot, thank you guys very much. With that said, we will be starting our Battle Force beat down here very shortly. So if you want to see all 10 Battle Forces battle it out in a single elimination bracket style like we do our cup style with 10 players coming from local areas, check it out. We can't wait for you guys to see it. With that, have a good night. Thanks, Josh. Hey, see you guys.